Well, good morning from uh, kind of a chilly <laughs> Sault Ste. Marie. You see it's mostly cloudy and there's a nice breeze out of the north and it's in the 40s so whoo definitely is feeling a bit like autumn here today uh, as as they predicted actually so uh, i find the weather service here is far more accurate than where i moved from in oregon but we're a little later because it is saturday does that make it the 7th of august in Argo, you know, his nose works all the time. He found us a ship, and I feel like this is the only time I've seen them this year. John D. Leach, I think I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> I feel like I never know if I'm doing it right or not. But they're a very unique design to their superstructure there. John D. Leach. I saw some posts online. They're saying this might be their last trip over to, I think they were in two harbors. I'm not sure exactly because it's superior. Um, I don't really know why that would be. I guess I'm not up on the news. So. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> That wind is chilly. I have uh, become soft during the warm summer. And I refuse to start complaining about my hands in September. So. I don't know if you can hear all the construction racket. They've been going all night. Uh, they go six days a week. Or they're, they're not supposed to be done until next year. Dismantling the old lock there. There's the Hiawatha. Still getting photobombed by the Hiawatha. <laughs> Actually, we may not be later than normal. No, we are. We are a bit. Okay. Ooh, that, that, that wind is cold. Of course, they have a whole bunch going on up there on, on the roof of that. Three radars, two are spinning. I see a Starlink. Just kind of become normal these days. Antennas. And they have a, a very steep... <clears throat> sorry about that. A very steep angle on their steer pole there because uh, the top of their superstructure is so high above the bow. If you see that poking out in front. And that steer pole is so they kind of have a better sense of, of where they're pointing uh, when, they're, when they're steering the ship. Uh, the front unloading boom ship not a whole lot of those yeah. that's pretty cool i've not checked marine traffic <clears throat> watching those guys head out there Makes you wonder if there's a salty of some kind coming in. Hmm. I don't know. But I do know. I think I'm going to head on down the road. <laughs> it's chilly. Make sure no one's coming. Nope. Okay. I underestimated the kind of the breeze so he, see he's not wearing a coat so we're gonna keep on moving so uh, plan for today um, for this weekend is 
undetermined. Um, Argo had his vet appointment, so he's up to date on all of his immunizations. I've been waiting for that so I can fill out the new form required for him to come back into the United States. So now that I have all that, I might just pop over there. There's a restaurant I really like. And although I'm really not uh, weather for an ice cap, <laughs> I might still get one. <laughs> and then I uh, might do some more antenna work on the house. Uh, tomorrow's supposed to be a little nicer. We might go for a hike tomorrow. I don't know. But I know if I want to do any shopping, like getting supplies or anything for working on the house, I need to do it today. But most places are closed tomorrow. <laughs> so. Anyway, I'm going to get down here to this. I used to call my spot, but I almost never record here anymore. And we'll close this out to John D. Leach. So have a great day. Hopefully you're staying warm. Ooh. And we'll be back really soon.